Russia's nuclear threats enter frightening phase, US could be turned to radioactive ashes. A Russian state TV host and Kremlin propagandists have floated the prospect of a nuclear war breaking out amid the ongoing war in Ukraine, according to Newsweek. It is noted that guests on the program New World, hosted by Marina Kim, a member of Russia's state Duma, discussed the country's nuclear war prospects. There have been warnings from Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov that the country's nuclear doctrine could be amended due to the unacceptable and escalatory actions of the West. Russia's nuclear doctrine lays out the conditions under which it can use such weapons. An excerpt of the broadcast was shared on X by Julia Davis, the founder of the Russia Media Monitor Watchdog Group. Meanwhile, in Russia, prominent figures explained their deranged belief that if Russia starts a nuclear war, it can win it, Davis wrote. They also described misusing funds allocated for nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament to build up Russia's nuclear capabilities. The program's first guest was Alexander Dugin, an influential ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, who told host Kim that Russia is redefining its place in the world. Our country? only has one path, either to be great or not to exist. Russia will either be great or it will not exist. Everything is at stake, Dugin said. The program cut to a clip of Putin at St. Petersburg International Economic Forum on June the 7th, saying that his country's nuclear doctrine is a living instrument that can be changed. Russia is carefully watching what is happening in the world around us and do not exclude making some changes to this doctrine, Putin said. This is also related to the testing of nuclear weapons, the Russian president added. Dugin, who last year said talk of using nuclear weapons in Russia's war in Ukraine is irresponsible, told Kim that he believes the West is a pathologically sick civilization that pitted itself against the rest of the world and is the source of the problem. In order to defend itself, in order to defend against it and not be helpless in the face of this maniacal civilization which is aggressive, imperialist and colonial, nuclear weapons are needed for containment, said Dugin. Dugin, 62, has been credited with being a key architect of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. His daughter, political activist Daria Dugina, was killed in a car bomb attack in August 2022. What the president said about victory is very important, Dugin added. Russia has no chance without victory over the aggression of the hegemony over global liberalism. It's not about a truce or a ceasefire, but about victory. Kim also spoke with Mikhail Govalchuk, who is a physicist and member of an elite group close to Putin. Govalchuk said he believes nuclear weapons are the most important thing in this world, along with their means of delivery. The West is not afraid of China because we are the only ones who can turn America into radioactive nuclear ashes, Govalchuk said. European Union seeks to transport Azerbaijani gas via Russian pipelines through Ukraine. The European Union is exploring the possibility of transporting Azerbaijani gas through Russian pipelines that cross Ukrainian territory, according to sources cited by Bloomberg. The move comes as part of the EU's efforts to diversify its energy sources and reduce dependence on Russian gas. It is noted that European officials are negotiating to maintain gas supplies through the key Russia-Ukraine pipeline in 2025. Europe has tried to move away from Russian gas, but several Eastern European states continue to receive it through a pipeline that crosses Ukraine. The agreement covering this transit arrangement expires at the end of this year. However, representatives of the European Union and European companies are negotiating with colleagues from Ukraine on how to ensure gas supplies next year. But Oleksiy Chernyshov, the CEO of Ukraine's Navtogaz, has ruled out his country's participation in any EU projects that involve dealings with Russia's Gazprom. According to some interlocutors, one option that has been discussed is for European companies to buy and pump gas from Azerbaijan into Russian pipelines leading to Europe. Such an agreement would allow Europe to avoid difficulties associated with buying Russian gas at a time when it is trying to limit Moscow's revenues, the agency's sources noted. Slovakia is one of the key countries that could benefit 
from such a deal and Prime Minister Robert Fico spoke about the possibility last month after a trip to Azerbaijan without revealing details. Ukraine is reportedly open to the idea of purchasing gas from Azerbaijan and intends to continue utilizing its domestic infrastructure. The EU sees maintaining transit through Ukraine as a crucial factor in supporting the country's economy. Additionally, European officials are concerned that idle pipelines could deteriorate or become military targets, Bloomberg says.